Thinking in now that it's here. It it takes a while. It takes a while because this is what we've seen like throughout from our childhood. Switzerland, just the rolling hills, green tree, trains, and Zurich doesn't feel like that. Like when you're in the city, but the moment you come out into the countryside, you're like. Damn. out about this place oh my god <laughs> this is what i always imagined and they really say like the mountains over here like have a different kind of charm to them and i can see it <laughs> they do i can totally see it they do okay then buddy what's the plan What's really cool what has happened is that uh, in a day or two the cow herders are going to be bringing back bringing back all ah, their cattle yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. the high mountains I saw those pictures, yeah. and i think that's going to be like quite a thing cuz they'll all be dressed in their uh, oh, local crazy. clothes and there might be some music and nice. traditional stuff and crazy stuff oh wow that's beautiful Namaste ji namaste namaste welcome to Switzerland Okay I think uh, it's safe to say that all of us have had that dream of coming to Switzerland once in their life you know to a place something like this just green meadows gentle hills all around we've had that dream too and we're here today it's uh it is just so so beautiful you know everything they say about uh Switzerland you know they show you in magazines it is much much more than that just the feeling of being here in this 500 year old home that bati found on this hill top overlooking the entire town with just farm lands everywhere with cows running cows running i have never seen cows run run like dogs like tatang 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 i hope i can get that on camera man so yeah here we are in apenzell we're going to be exploring the town Uh we are going to be going hiking to some really really ridiculously mind blowing places and uh just sit down relax put on your headphones and uh enjoy the ride with us man look at this hotel this is proper west anderson no huh? you know <laughs> yeah you can shoot a movie here oh we should walk on the right side I know. I always, always get confused. Yeah, should walk on the right side. Okay. <laughs> Yes. So basically every 
at the end of every summer, all the cattle uh, are brought back down to the village from high up in the mountains once they've been grazing there all summer and become nice and fat and plump. And uh, this is like a thing that happens every year for two, three days in September when they dress in their traditional outfits and bring the cattle down. Back home in our bagicha are like tiny compared to these guys. Yeah. illustrations and the, the little garden gnomes that have been placed. It's so cool in this whole main square, like I don't know if it's square, but the main area of the town. Each building is so unique and it's got different illustrations and patterns and color, crazy color combinations. It's uh, really uh, quite fascinating to look at. Love the sound that makes. We have to get one of these as well. Yeah, yeah, we're getting one for sure. We have to get one of these. Oh my god, this is my favorite store. We just moved, we just came, we were walking on the main street and oh my god, it's just full of meat. It's full of meat. I love it. So many kinds. Yeah. Local chorizo. Local chorizo. Awesome. That's really I am taking one of these for sure. I think I'm going to be spending a couple of francs out here. A whole lot of francs out here. A whole lot of francs out here. Can you see like the surface of this wall? Yeah. It's like scales, like fish scales. And each thing is like an individual piece that yeah. has been very meticulously punched in. Wow, look at how beautiful these posters are. I really like this. That's the ski goggle and its evolution. <laughs> No school telephone machine. <laughs> and that is a cash register. All kinds of kitchen equipment. These are so beautiful. Though. I know. Yeah, now we're entering the attic. Puppet show. Oh, yeah. But look at the set that they've designed for it. How cool. I think they call them marionettes. Mm. Oh, check out the headgear, dude. I've never seen that. I've never seen anything like that. Pretty interesting, huh, Bhati? Yeah. Nice little dive into the, the history Swiss history. Of, uh, Athens and yeah. Athens. Kind of gives you a little bit more context about where you are. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. This is a really cool building as well. Very beautiful building. I think it's safe to say that it is impossible to travel around the world today without being connected. I mean, everything from your tickets, hotel bookings, travel apps, maps, banking, everything is on this device in your pocket. And the last thing you want is not to be connected to the best local networks around uh, in that area. Uh, what I'm trying to get to is an electronic SIM card. And uh, we are using an eSIM by the service provider called SIM Local. They are active in 149 countries around the world. And the way it works is you go to their website or download their app, put in your destination, choose the plan that best suits your needs, and they'll send you a pack via email. And all you have to do is activate it just before you are taking off from your home country. And voila, as soon as you land, you're connected to the best local network in that region. It is so convenient and hassle-free, like especially if you're a solo female traveler, or a student traveling abroad for the first time, or a digital nomad. I mean, gone are the days when you'd be running around the airport like a headless chicken, trying to buy a new physical SIM card, communicating in a foreign language, booking an Uber, and all this while like stressing out about the high roaming charges. It can all be rather overwhelming. 
but this time around we had none of that. So this one is a really good one to have. Again, the service is called Sim Local. Uh, there's a link in the description. You can check out all the details over there. Uh, you can also use the code RNB Sim to get a 10% off on your checkout. Uh, trust me, man. Using Sim Local has made our travels so much more peaceful and stress-free. Never done such a planned hike before because we are used to really wild hiking in the mountains back home. But there are some super like dream spots over here that we've seen since the time we were kids and we're really excited to go see them for real. Life. Look at how massive the cows here are. So we made it to the first spot. Oh my god, it is beautiful. It's beautiful, right? Oh, it's so fresh. Yeah. So fresh. Unlike caves, you know? Like the air is like crisp yeah. in here. Crisp. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Namaste ji, namaste. It's really cool, man. How they've organized it so nicely for everyone. Mm. Oh, there's more in there. Oh, this is the looping out here. How cool is this little walkway? We're almost there at the spot. Yes. You remember this, Ronnie? That's it. That's the shot. The Nat Geo shot. shot from the Nat Geo cover. Oh my mm, God. We're here. <laughs> this is like Chota a child. Is Damn, it's a restaurant and yeah, beer. And guest house. <laughs> so when I was a kid and I saw that image again and I was like, holy shit, I remember this and I remember the profound impact I had seeing that image yeah. had on me as a kid. Yeah. And then again, now when that flashback happened again, and I was like, dude, gotta go here. Gotta oh, go even, here. even for me, like, so I've seen that picture, but I never imagined in my wildest dreams like where it was. Yeah. Like, just like, wow, this must be some crazy place up yeah. But it is. And we're just, <laughs> and we're here now. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Oh, man, Ronnie, childhood dreams, bro. Shall we? Yes, let's go. Trenda. Yes. Now it's all up here. <laughs> now the real one begins. Plants are like what we see back home, right? Yeah, these purple ones are though. Then the bagicha. Okay. Huh. First trail, first loop can completed. Yeah. So this is we're back at the gondola. Yeah. We did that whole loop, and now. Now we'll go. Yeah. This way up to Shefla. Namaste. Hello. Namaste, ji. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. <laughs> You're Great. most welcome. I wish I can walk like you when I'm your young age. <laughs> One thing for sure, Bharti, they have more old people on this trail than young people. You know? That is very surprising. Yeah. But very inspirational. Super inspiring. Oh my gosh. Her full peruk jati hai. I'm gonna put a separate PNP, PIP called parties, flower and insect cam. Life me, it's all about perspective. You know? <laughs> Macro and micro, you know? And everything in between. And everything in between. Yes, ma'am. In gayon ki na, puri zindagi, yehi sunte ve nikal jati hoogi. 
but it's such a comfort knowing that they're there also listening to their bells. <laughs> yeah. It's a very uh, easy, gentle hike, you know? Yeah. And the trails are just so well manicured, like, you know, a chance tak nahi diya girne ka, like. I think safety is a very big concern no? mm. here yeah, and I think they take it quite uh, seriously if accidents happen, you know, True. like... True. We are used to it, them Jungly, like full yeah, wild, I like know. full wild, fend for yourself <laughs> in the mountains. <laughs> What's this for? To block the animals, I think. The cows. Because the goats can get through very easily. <laughs> and the cows? I don't have no idea. This is the place that started it all for us. Once we found this place, we knew that we had to come to Appenzell and nowhere else in Switzerland for this trip. <laughs> it's so good to make it out here, man. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's crazy. Just look at that. Oh. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Switzerland, huh? Something else. Something else. The features in the Alps, dude, they might not be that high. But the features, they are beautiful. Really, really beautiful, Rigur. Zavardas take them. Zavardas. Right, Bharti? Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, yeah, so good. Okay, I can't wait to dig in. I'm already in heaven. We've earned this meal. Yeah. <laughs> so we come down to Altenal. Yeah, straight down yeah. And then straight down to straight the down to the lake. Oh my god. Just be careful, huh, Ronnie, please. Yep. I'm fine. You should be careful. I am. Uh -huh. But since you're shooting <laughs> and your attention is divided, I need you to be careful. Wow. <laughs> You good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> but now is where we come to our uh, yeah. deviation. So, so do you want to keep walking like this, the longer route down, or you want to go put down to the lake from... I say let's go put down to the yeah? lake. Okay, yeah. done. Because we're losing light, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Put really, put really. Steep you do this kind of climb down all day. It's just that because you can see the I sheer can see drop. The drop. That's why. That's why your your mind is telling you that you know. But you do this every day. I know. Also, you know what it is. Like when you have the support, mm -hmm. then your confidence is up. And then when you lose the support in certain parts of the trail, it's all in your head. Exactly. It's all in your head. Of course, you've got the handrail, and then you, wherever it's like there's no step, they've made a step. They've made like, a step. Yeah. yeah. This hike is definitely in one of the top fives, for sure. I mean, that kind of shafts, look at that at the back. It's beautiful. It's 
gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Look at that. Fun. Good fun. Very good fun. Yeah. Very good fun. And that scree part thodi phati thi. But it's That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. But you did it. It's your now your level up. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, from amateur no, no. <laughs> to like level 1 2 whatever the level is but you leveled up oh for sure for sure for sure that was awesome that was too good for too good too good we've had too many high fives on this bike way too many what a payoff what a reward at the end you know when life brings you to like places like these and so many more that you and i have been like i think blessed enough to be in the presence of <laughs> you know it just really like makes me feel so grateful to be alive and so so grateful to be a sentient being who can feel such things right like who can feel this at a very conscious level inside and i know so many people like Like oh, but this is better or that is better, and I feel that is like such a strange way to look at the world. Like I, I think to compare one to another is just unnecessary. It's absolutely unnecessary, and I feel like there's divinity in it all. Like all of it. The world is awesome, bro. The world is freaking awesome. It's too big, and we have only a limited time. Exactly. <laughs> Ha 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 ha